Alright, what's going on everybody? I want to welcome you back to another Real Talk video. I pray you are all doing well as we give the Most High Yah all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title says that sexual perversion is going to get worse and worse. I know a lot of Christians don't want to hear a message like this, but um, as a child of the Most High, I have to be obedient. I have to stand on what's right, regardless of who don't like it and how they feel. You know, I can't sit up and worry about people's feelings. A lot of people really don't understand what time we are living in. There is nothing new under the sun. I'm getting so many emails um, about all this transgender stuff, all this homosexuality stuff, all this lesbian, all this LGBT stuff. And let me say this off top. I love you. But I can't agree with the sin inside of you. Just like I say the same thing for the whore, the dope dealer, the thug, whatever it is and what your sin is. So I'm going to say that off top. If you think this is a hate video, well, this is not for you. But I hope, I hope, I hope and I pray that at least two or three where we'll get this message and have a change of heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's my prayer right now. I don't think we really understood how wicked Sodom and Gomorrah really was. I don't think a lot of people really understand gang rape and what the Bible was really showing us. You got all these preachers out here that uses those cities to try to just talk about homosexuality. That could have been some of the problem. Well, let's just say it, it was some of the problem. But the main issue in, in those cities was gang rape. Raping. Ain't no sex. Men with men. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be easy on you in this video. How so far out that cry was. That it was non-righteous. Hmm. And you look at what we're living in right now. So many young boys are being turned out. Hmm. So many men are, 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 are using these boys in all the wrong ways. It's a big difference in allowing yourself for somebody versus somebody forcing you to do some things at an early age. I'll teach Holy Spirit. When you understand what was really done in the Bible, then you should see that it's nothing new right now. Mm. See that that they, they if you grew up like me, they didn't teach Noah's day right. Uh-oh, come on, come on. I'm gonna make some of these Baptist pastors mad because all my life growing up. All I heard was, didn't Noah do it? He walked around 120 years preaching about the rain. <laughs> Nobody wanted to hear Noah. Come on now. If you really dig out the information and what happened in Noah's day, you will see something way more than he was preaching for 120 years about some rain. Most of those preachers never taught how wicked how how those sexual acts was going on in Noah's day. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. They left out all the details because they wanted to make it feel good. Oh, come on, teach Holy Spirit. They wanted you to, 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 to start saying yeah and amen and, and teach pe uh, preacher and, and run around. And, but in reality, what really went down in Noah's day was way more deeper than what half of the preachers that's living even taught. Mm. Question is, I wonder, did they even know? How can you read Genesis and, and, and not see what those watchers done? Uh, or the fallen ones. Or some may use the term the fallen angels. Some may say the Nephilim. Some may say the Geber babies. Those that teach them scriptures right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. How do you skip past that? Because if you skip past that, you ain't going to understand what Christ said later on in Matthew. Hmm. Too many details, Brother Rodney, has been left out 
And that's why so many people are scratching their head now, trying to figure out why we are in the where we at now. Mm. They talked about the so-called founders of America, but they didn't go into details. They didn't, they didn't teach you about these rituals and, and, and how they was messing with these little boys' booties and, and so much stuff and wickedness, and they claim Christianity. Christianity got, got mixed in with so much paganism. Demons. They 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 want they want you to use the Bible in the courtroom and, and oh do you swear to tell the truth for nothing but the whole truth? They they want to use the Bible for that, but they don't want to go by the Bible. Mm, 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 mm. They want to put the Constitution higher than the cross. Oh, I pray they let this video go through. They want you to use the Bible for certain things, but when it comes to living the Bible, oh. They block it out. Remove that. Remove prayer out of school. Remove them Ten Commandments. Put up wickedness. See, when it comes to living that Bible, it ain't too many people want to hear those scriptures because the Bible will cut you up left and right, from the front to the back, from side to side. Do we really understand what we are living in? Wickedness. Rape will happen more and more and more. I got I to gotta get all the way real with y'all. I, I hate to say it like this because that's your nephew or that's your, that's your baby boy. That, that's your daughter. But more and more young men and young women are going to be turned out. I'm not speaking that on you. It's already happening. More and more young boys are going to be talking about they don't want their penis no more. More and more young women are going to want to turn into a boy when they was born as a woman. More and more perverts are going to be more and more perverts. We got to understand what we're living in. And all this wicked demonic stuff is a big part of the satanic kingdom because the most high God does not allow this. Mm. As a child of the most high, once again, I stand against this wickedness. I don't care if you don't like me. I ain't on here for no popularity contest. I'm so sick and tired of not all these preachers, but I'm so sick of all these so-called preachers. They always talking about their accolades and their degrees and what seminary school they went to, all their accomplishments and their theology, but they ain't even talking about the truth. Mm -mm -mm. I got a strong word for you type of pastors. I don't cut them about yo, 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 yo. How many degrees you got in what seminary school you, you went to? If you're not speaking holiness and talking the true gospel, the hell with all them accolades. You ain't done nothing. Can I get three people to say amen? Now, if you talking true, amen, but all this boasting and bragging on your title and your name being long because of your title, what good is your title going to do for the, for, the, for the kingdom? Hmm. When you got to stand and give an account on that day, when you when you sit there and let that homosexual play on that organ all those years, when well, it helped my church grow, it was good for business. Mm. You wonder why your church ain't growing because you what you are growing is more and more demon spirits in your church, and that's why your church ain't gonna never be nothing because you keep allowing all these sexual spirits, demonic spirits. These icky buses and succubus all over your chest, bed and all over your pulpit, all over your choir stand. Your musicians ain't nothing but hoes. Oh, I'm like Pastor Darby. I said it. I ain't talking about everybody. We talking about living holy lifestyles. How you gonna be a minister of music? You don't even know nothing about the word and how to minister. How you gonna be a, a bold pastor for the most high and you won't you won't even stand on a little bit of the truth? But you've been preaching 40, 50 years, I understand that. But what have you been preaching? Mm. These type of buildings that I'm talking about are Satan's buildings. If you are really studying, you would understand in, in Satan's kingdom. Everything is allowed. The Bible say the things that was natural, they, they, they start doing the unnatural. 
the satanic kingdom allows rituals and, 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 and rape and pride and egos and, and, and liars and cheaters, idolaters and homemongers and, and homosexuality and, 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 and all this stuff that the Most High says is not going to inherit the kingdom. Satan says he can inherit my kingdom. See, let me let me let me let me let me, let me say something here, y'all. I ain't even got started with the video yet. Somebody to catch that. In church growing up, as I said earlier, they left out too many details when it came to teaching. See, it's so important to understand when 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 Paul told Timothy, I believe, to study to show yourself unproven unto God. You got to study and do some investigating on who and what these people were. That's why I go straight to the culture. Why they believe this? Why they do this? Who were they? What were they? Were they all the way human? Mm. Who was they kin folks? Oh. You got to investigate. Because if you investigate the same way I am, then you would understand how messed up the Romans really was. Mm. You would see how messed up those Greeks really was. You would see why sex is so out of hand now. And how it was so out of hand back then. But things are going to get worse. So much perversion. What do you think Paul was talking about? What Apostle Paul saw with his own eyes? What went down? And he talked about sex and immorality so much. And he kept writing to those churches and writing letters to help them take care of the sin in their churches. Real church buildings. Real people with real problems just like nowadays. And if you don't have no leader that's willing to address the sin and get that mess straightened up out of those buildings, everybody going to hell. Now, now let me leave that alone. Mm. Let me leave it alone. I ain't gonna say everybody, but I'm 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 gonna say it like Christ. Few that be that find it. Most people are gonna go. They they they're gonna miss heaven through their church building. Because of what they are, they sitting up under, and they won't come out of it. They following some fool in the pulpit. I said it. I ain't talking about everybody. This is unacceptable behavior. The Bible spoke, spoke about detestable things, abominations, things that's just sick, that's not even, they not natural, they unnatural. Get around Leviticus 18 and verse 23. It talks about unlawful sexual relations. Now, I thank y'all for listening there. That was just the introduction. Now, let's move further. When you look at Leviticus 18, 23, unlawful sexual relations, the Bible says, Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. Why? Because it is confusion. That's the word of the most high. Let's pause right there for a moment. What do America call this bestiality? Sleeping with animals. How many times have you saw on the internet somebody sending some type of video or through your phone some type of video of some human being <laughs> Trying to have sex with a horse or a dog or a, a, a goat or something. Well, JT, I don't understand why this stuff happening. Why in the world was somebody? Because you haven't read the beginning of the book. This is what Noah's day was all about. They 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 mix DNA. They mess with the animals. Why do you think only the, the the ones that was allowed to get on the ark was the only ones allowed, and the the rest of them was wiped out? The Bible taught about how, how they defiled and how they messed with the animals and, 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 and everything that was creepy, crawling. They, they tampered with it. 
those watchers. Mm. That's why they looked at the daughters of men and they, they said that they were fair. So they took on those women, human women, and started having sex with them, sleeping with them, and then next thing you know, giants. Before and after the flood, giants. We teaching now. These are the details that was left out growing up in church. See, we know it now is bestiality, but this was going on in the Old Testament. But they hooped and hollered so much that they left out what the, the watchers, as the book of Enoch called them, what they, the fallen ones really done. Now you're trying to figure out why somebody trying to lay with an animal. The Bible say, let her, let him, whoever it was that slept with that beast, let them and that beast both but be put to death. Let their blood be upon their head. This is scripture. This stuff is still going on. Why? Because we are in the days of Noah. Let me tell you something. Any, and I mean any, any sexual activity outside the marriage, union of one woman and one man, it's a perversion. And it's condemned by the Most High. And he said, those who love this will not inherit the kingdom. See, this is why men, we get in trouble so much. Because we think our way is right all the time. But I'm reminded of Proverbs 14 and 12 say, there is a way which seemed right into a man, but is leading him to destruction. It's death. The wages of sin is death. I, I, I'm reminded of Isaiah 5 and 20 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. That's what we're living in right now. I'm going to get you to my message in a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm following the Holy Spirit with this. You put your darkness for light. <laughs> the Bible say we are the light <clears throat> of the world. But how can you shine for the most time if you're living in darkness? <clears throat> I don't care how many days you go to church. How can you shine when you live in a homosexual lifestyle? When you still married, but you got a you got a you got a girlfriend over here and, and, and you got a boyfriend over there, you married to this person, but you done moved in with this person, and you're expecting God to bless that. I know I just messed up 25 family members. I don't care the truth hurts. That's not gonna be blessed. From the most high. The most high say you don't let nobody take, destroy your covenant. Mm. Now let me get you to this message. What I really want to preach off of is 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy 3 and 2 says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Mm. Lovers of their own selves. So right there, if you stuck on yourself, that means you letting everything you do override the Holy Spirit, if you got it all. Not saying that to say that the Holy Spirit is weak, no. The Holy Spirit is willing. The flesh is weak. You got a choice to make. And most people are choosing what pleases them. They desires. Mm. So you put 2 Timothy 3 and 2 with 2 Timothy 4 and 3, you should understand why we are where we at now. 2 Timothy 4 and 3 saying that is the one I really want to preach off of. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, 
shall they heat to themselves, teach us, having those itching ears. Teach Holy Spirit. First of all, this verse say it's a time coming. It's already here. First of all, you don't want to hear the sound document. So if you, let, let's just break this scripture down. They cut the doctrine off. They don't want to hear it. In other words, you rejected God the most high. But then it says right behind that, they after they own lust. Brothers and sisters, when you are after your own lust, you are far away from the Holy Spirit. I don't care how holy you say you are and how long you've been saved. You are not connected to the Holy Spirit if you are after your own lust. You have became a teacher of yourself and you got itching ears and you only hear what you want to hear because when somebody addressed the sin like I'm doing in this video, you go turn your head to the truth. This is why the homosexuals say I'm born that way and God going to accept me this way. This is why they stay that way because they are after their own lust. Oh, come on. It, can I make it plain, brothers and sisters? I can still be gay and make it in. That's what they believe because they are after their own lust. Who teach Holy Spirit. I pray for the homosexual. I pray for the lesbian. But I know that everybody is not going to change. Those, most people are not trying to have a change of heart. And as long as their hearts stay the same, their actions are going to stay the same. They're going to continue to be gay. They're going to continue to be a lesbian. They're going to continue to be a homosexual. They're going to continue to be that liar, that cheater, that homemonger. He's going to continue to be that dope dealer. He's going to continue to be that liar, that drunk, that crackhead. They don't want to hear the sound doctrine. Because the sound doctrine, if you hear it and receive it and you surrender, it will make you change your life. And the Bible say, any man made in Christ shall be a new creature and all things shall pass. Ain't no way you're going to be a new creature still being the old you. Mm, mm, mm. You can't be delivered and be a homosexual. No, no. You can't call yourself delivered and you still a girl messing with old girl. If, you, if you're living correctly the way the Bible say, then ain't no way in hell you're going to want to exchange your penis for a vagina. Can I get four witnesses? What's going on in these houses? What's going on on the television? What's being shown in the iPhone? Mm. I know I ain't going to be able to preach in nobody's church ever with these type of messages. Transgender will get worse. Gay marriage is going to continue to happen because sexual perversion, as I said on my Tyler's video, is going to get worse and worse and worse. Most people now have been turned over to a reprobated mind to do what they love to do. Once again, I am not trying to speak nothing on your children, your babies, but we got to understand, man. Be careful who, 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 who you letting your child spend a night over their house with. Oh, come on, speak, Holy Spirit. Be careful who you allow your children to hang around. Be careful what they watching on TV. Be careful what they listening to. Are you watching? Are you paying attention? Jude 1 and 18. The book of Jude says, when they said to you in the last times, there will be scoffers who will follow after their own ungodly desires. Not godly, but ungodly desires. A man who desired to be with another man. That's his desire. A woman who desires to be with another woman who go out and get a woman and look just like a damn man. Do it make sense? No. That's all confusion. You ever notice that most of these lesbian relationships, the 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 the, the aggressor, the, the one that's the, the that's that's supposed to be playing the man always look like a man. 
You see how confused that is? Young boys, six and seven years old, talking about they don't want their penis no more. This is what we are living in. And Satan uses sex perversion mainly for his kingdom. I ain't even going to get started talking about Hollywood. Excuse me, Hollywood. Excuse me, Hollywood. Y'all, I know this message ain't going to sit well with a lot of folks, but please, to the few that can catch what I'm saying, it's gonna, it, it sounds like a hate message to the ones that hate truth. But this is, this is out of love because you know why? I care for you. If I didn't care for you, I would never, wouldn't even do a video at all. We are living in some trying times. We are living where our faith is going to get tested more and more and more. And my question to you is, what will you stand on? So many preachers sit back behind closed doors and they talk about this stuff. But when it comes to addressing it in the church, I don't want to lose my members, brother. Mm. Man, that's that's the best argument play I've ever had so far. I Man, you know how much how much our church ever grown. What have you grown in your church? When your paycheck becomes bigger than the ministry itself, and you better stand on a lie because you're scared of losing your money, what's gonna happen on judgment day? Mm. Man, I'd rather be broke with no money in my pocket and tell the truth than to have a whole lot of money and lose my soul and, and miss heaven because I didn't want to tell the truth. I'd rather be broke. I'd rather be I'd rather be like John the Baptist. Give me some locusts and some wild honey and give me some tour clothes to put on and some sandals. I'll preach the gospel still just like that. I don't need no big crowd. I hope I can just reach a few because one thing I learned about crowds and the crowd, most people going to follow a crowd. Uh-oh, somebody catch that. In a crowd, it ain't too many people going to really try to get right. That's why when you look at the, the wide gate, as the Bible spoke of in Matthew, it was many going through that gate because it was wide. It was a crowd. But when he started talking about the straight is the way and narrow is this way, few that be that find it, they didn't want to hear that. Back in Noah's day, first thing you should ask yourself, if, if Christ said it's going to be like the days of Noah before his return, first thought should come to your mind is what really happened in Noah's day? Get past that hooping and hollering and, and, and look at the details, look at facts, look at scripture, and look at what those fallen ones was doing. Look at how, how at first animals never had sin, but all of a sudden all the animals got corrupt. Why is it when it comes to the Bible, half of these preachers out here don't want to talk about the bloodline, the DNA, the altering of DNA? How folks are being cloned now. Like I said earlier, bestiality. People lying with, 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 with animals. And you wonder why every time you hear me, I'm going to keep saying everybody is not human. If they wasn't all the way human in Noah's day, what do you think you see right now? Fallen ones. And when you talk about demons, why do you think demons keep traveling? Because demons cannot do their business until they get a body to do it in. Look at Legion. We are many. That man had many demons. It had some strength. Had power. Broke the chains, didn't he? That's why it's so important as I close, you better watch all this sleeping around, going around, soul ties, all this stuff is demonic and it will turn you all the way to the devil. When you get so far out there like that and you reject God, what did God say? Got no choice but to reject you. Is that being mean? No, you made that choice. 
Because if you turn if you turn a deaf ear, and can't nobody tell you nothing. Especially if you ain't gonna listen to the Holy Spirit. Well, what can the Holy Spirit do with you? It ain't no need to talk about going to heaven. Sexual perversion will get worse and worse and worse. So, my brothers and sisters, don't be shocked at what you see. This stuff ain't new. It was it was it was worse back then. They just didn't bring out the facts about it. Don't think it's just the Pope that's that way. It's a whole lot of sexual perversion that's been going on in families, granddaddies, and, and, and some older men who who raped their own daughters. This stuff ain't new. But I stand with you on, on what's right. And I pray for you. But just keep this in mind. Things are going to get worse and worse and worse before it gets better. I love you. That's my time. Y'all have a wonderful, 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 blessed day. Shalom.